welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Meg, welcome. And if you're returning, then welcome back. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Sand and Sky oil control products. So I've got the oil control clearing cleanser and I've got the oil control Australian clay mask. These products were very kindly gifted to me by Sand and Sky, so thank you very much to them. I have worked with Sand and Sky before, I did a review of their Australian Emu Apple range so I will link that below if you want to go and watch that one. But I really do love their products, they are vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, free of any of the kind of nasties that you get in normal products. So I'm very excited to try their oil control range because it's not something I've ever kind of ventured into before. So if you're watching this video because you are looking to purchase these products from Sand and Sky or you just want to know what kind of products they do and what they're like as a brand then this is the video for you. But let's start with the clearing cleanser. I haven't washed my face yet today because I wanted to try it first with this one. But gentle and calming, our clearing cleanser removes makeup, oil and impurities for a fresh glowing complexion with cell... I can never pronounce these words. Salicylic acid plus AHAs from Australian finger lime. The pH balanced and fragrance free wash helps smooth skin while targeting clogged pores. Formulated with natural prebiotics, old man weed and Tasmanian pepperberry, it supports the skin barrier for clear and healthy looking skin. Dermatologist tested. So let's give this a go. I was wondering if I was going to be able to even try this like here or whether I'm going to need to go into my bathroom. This is what it looks like. I love the colour. I do like the colours that Sand and Sky have. All of their different ranges have like a different colour theme. Their Emu Apple range was like a hot pink and now I've got like a kind of sage green colour which I really like. Okay so it says to squeeze a small amount onto your hand and lather it with water which is a general rule for cleansers so I am going to go and do that and I'll come back when I'm lathering it on my face. So I've got it on my face and it is literally it's, a, it's like a gel consistency um, and it does smell, I won't lie, a little bit like bars of soap. Not that I've used a bar of soap in about 100 years, but that's kind of the smell that I'm getting from this. It feels nice and smooth on my skin. So I have just rinsed the cleanser off and this is what my face is looking like. I do think lately my skin has been very good, like I haven't really touched wood been getting any spots or anything like that but my skin feels very refreshed it feels like it's kind of ready for like the next product to go on obviously normally i would go in with a moisturizer at this point but because i am trying out the face mask that's what i am going to use now so obviously i have cleansed my face ready to apply the face mask i can definitely see a difference though in this to like general cleansers because i don't tend to use like oil uh control cleanser this one kind of has a different consistency to it and it makes your skin feel different after definitely has a very strong smell to it as well like i can still smell like the soapy smell on my face which i quite like because it makes me feel like i'm really clean you know it's that really clean smell like when you first get out the bath and obviously it says that it removes makeup as well so you could use it as a cleanser personally i use a makeup cleansing balm to take my makeup off but I always cleanse after that because the balm doesn't necessarily get everything off and I like to make sure my skin is completely clean before I go to bed so this would be a good one to use after you've taken your makeup off as well. Okay let's go in with the face mask so the nemesis of blemishes <laughs> I love that our clearing clay mask promotes smooth clear glowing skin with zero dryness this formula with exfoliating salicylic acid, Australian clay and Australian finger lime, a source of natural AHAs, combats cl clagged, <laughs> combats clogged pores and excess oil. Our mask enriched with old man weed and Tasmanian pepperberry soothes skin, niacinamide and natural pre prebiotics help support skin complexion for a clearer and calmer skin. And that is dermatologist tested as well. So it says apply a thin even layer to dry and cleansed face using the applicator brush. Leave on for 10 minutes then gently remove with warm water. For oily skin you should use two to three times per week and for dry skin once or twice per week. So let's open her up. So funny story and I'm struggling to talk now because I've got this face mask on. I thought I'd pressed record and I hadn't. So I was applying this face mask and the whole time my camera wasn't recording. So um, I've just realised now that I've got it on that I didn't press. That is just classic me really. So basically, obviously I'm not going to take this off and redo it. 
because that'll be a bit too much for my skin i am going to insert a clip of me applying it um a few days from now um so that you can see how i applied it i mean we all know how a face mask goes on but just for the purposes of showing the product properly this is the bottle that it comes in and then this is the little which is dirty now but this is the little applicator brush that it comes with and it says sand and sky and as you can see it's kind of like a mud consistency it does remind me of the tea tree cleansing mask from the body shop which i love it's like one of my favorite masks to do so i feel like this is going to be a new favorite of mine it's just kind of going hard like a face mask does um but it does feel very like not tingly in the sense that it's uncomfortable but it feels like it's like clearing my face which is one thing that i just love in face masks i love when you put one on and it just feels like it's really refreshing your face but i'm gonna leave this on for 15 10 15 minutes now um because I am struggling to talk and then I will rinse it off and I will let you know what my skin feels like afterwards. Okay, I'm all done. First of all, it feels really good to have done a face mask because I used to be so good at doing them. I used to do at least one a week, but lately I've just, I haven't done one for so long. I can't even remember the last time I did one. But I'm glad that I broke my um, celibacy to face mask with this oil control one by sand and sky first of all i feel like my skin looks brighter and more awake now it definitely feels very refreshed but one thing that i have to say i absolutely love about this mask is how easy it comes off so it went hard on my face like any normal mud mask but one thing about face masks that i always hate is when you have to take them off and you have to proper scrub at your face to get all of the mixture off and then it comes off in like clumps in your hands and it stains your sink and it goes everywhere this one literally pretty much dissolves as soon as you put water to it i was washing it off and i was like is it coming off because like there was nothing on my hands that was suggesting it was coming off but i looked in the mirror and it was all gone off of my cheeks and i was like oh okay i've never known a face mask to be that easy to come off before so that is one like a big bonus that i'm gonna say about this face mask it's very clean to get off like it doesn't make a mess at all and it doesn't take very long literally i was washing my face for a couple of minutes and it's all gone no residue left no mess in the sink just amazed really if you are one of those people that hates taking face masks off but loves putting them on this will take away that problem because you can put it on easily and take it off easily i am very pleasantly surprised actually with this range i've never really thought of myself as like needing oil control products because i don't feel like i necessarily have oily skin but even though obviously it's primarily for oily skin i think it does the job with all skin types as well like dry skin so if you are interested in shopping any of the sand and sky products then there will be a link down below for you to do so it is an affiliate link so it does mean that i earn a little bit of commission if you shop through that link thank you again to sand and sky for very kindly gifting me these products but obviously as you will know it doesn't affect what i think of them i genuinely do love the products i've been using their emu apple range since i got given them a few months ago and they don't disappoint i can tell you that this is definitely going to be my new favorite face mask in fact i imagine i'll probably have used up this bottle in a couple of months i stick to my routine of doing one a week which i'm gonna try and do if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video